Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 React tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about uses of a state. React Components has a built-in state object. The state object is a place uh, where you can store property values that belongs to the component. So let's see how can we use the state in class component. So switch to the project and let's open the React component, class component. So just go inside the resources directory, then JS, pages, uh, posts, and from here, let's open this one, new component.jsx file. And inside this component class file, uh, let's add here the state. Okay, so inside this class, just add here a state is equal to curly bracket. And inside this, uh, let's add here some property. So add here name and assign a value here. Uh, let's say Jennifer. Another property is value 25 and create one more party property here for mobile. Uh, let's say one, two, three. All right. Now let's access this state property inside this class render method. Okay, so for accessing the state property, this keyword is used. Okay, so inside this render return method, uh, inside this render return, just uh, add here, just add here the p tag, and for displaying the name, add here curly bracket, then this keyword dot a state and property name. Okay, so right here name. And now for displaying the age, curly bracket, this keyword, state and property name, age. And for mobile, this dot state dot mobile. Okay, now save this file and let's check. So switch to the browser and go to the url posts slash new okay and you can see here the property name age and mobile now let's see how can we use array inside this state so inside this state uh, let's add here uh, array property uh, let's say property name is skills and inside this big bracket uh, let's add here some values react another value view laravel okay now let's access this array inside this render method so after this just add here inside the p tag uh, skills and uh, inside double uh, single curly bracket this dot state dot property name a skills okay now save this and you can see here this skills okay let's uh, separate each value with comma so for that just add here join method dot join and inside this add here the separator in single quote comma okay and now save this and here you can see the array element which separated with comma so in this way you can use the state in class component the state in class component uh, in, La in laravel 9 react so that's all about uses of a state in laravel 9 react so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.